2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Thrilled to have your company as we begin our coverage of this exciting event. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and out on the course following our feature group is the delightful Henny Koyak. Hello, Henny. Hi, Luke. I'm looking forward to bringing you the action from the ground level for this week's featured group. Now, there's a sense of heightened competition this week, and this player has mentioned that they're starting up a rivalry this week with their playing partner. And this week, Henny, it looks like they're trying to take down Justin Rose. Not many people have been able to claim that. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be all rosy at the end of today. This is definitely a tall order. Justin has one of the most consistent games on the PGA Tour. He's like a golfing metronome of a man. The iron play, I'm going to say if he hits the fairway, when he hits the fairway, his iron play is just phenomenal. He's going to get it inside 20 feet every time, and then you know he's going to hold putt. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that one. Well, he's the perfect mix, isn't he? He's an English gent with a killer glint in his eye. Good luck in this rivalry. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. And wow, what an approach. That was a golf shot. Justin Rose may be feeling a bit of pressure in this rivalry after that performance. Putting for birdie. Well, that's a nice way to start, writing a little red number down on the scorecard at the first. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. He's currently tied for 14th. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. It's like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Yeah, he's got 190 all the way back here. What a drive that was. F1, watch out. Going with the hybrid. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here at the second. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. And now over to Justin Rose. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Eight feet to the cup. This for a birdie birdie run. Good looking putt. Well, look who's getting on a roll now. That's back to back birdies. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And stepping up the standings after that effort. off here at the third hole. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. He's two strokes behind his rival this week. Good shot there, Beamer. Let's get back to it, shall we? What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? 
has to put this one downhill. Surely it's going to. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. Currently at minus three for the event. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Good looking shot this. What a shot! Mark it down as an eagle. Whoa, check this out. In fuego, dialed in, call it what you will. Holding it from the fairway. Thank you very much. now over to Justin Rose. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. This should play. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. And after that hole, leading Patrick Cantlay by a couple of strokes. And now teeing off on this par four hole.
That's heading for the fairway. Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results and pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? Without a doubt, the best player all around on tour in my mind's eye. It is no shock to see them contending for the lead once again. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. It's half a chance of being hold, this one. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the seventh. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 155. He really got that one out there. Fantastic drive. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green and reg here. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Our current leader is up by three shots. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Oh, how about that one? John, what's going on out there? Hello up there. We are checking in down here with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the ninth. Wow, what a save. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. Yeah, that mighty shot was certainly worth a move up the leaderboard. Let's see what it's done. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Here we go. We're beginning the ninth hole now. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. There have been a lot of players that have come out and people are quick to label them as prodigious talents and what they can do, but it's true about Lydia Ko that she is one of the game's prodigies. Luke, when you say prodigy, I think Lydia Ko's name should just be, instead of prodigy, just say, look at Lydia Ko. Because this young lady has seemingly done it all at 14 years young. 14, won a professional event. The youngest, men or women, to ever win a tournament that early. That is astounding. 18 years old, major champion with a final round 63. It's just 
it's mind-blowing how good this young lady was at such an early age. Yes, had a little low there for a little bit, but now come back out and has just taken the world by storm again. 17 wins already and building in her professional career. The sky is the limit for Lydia. Didn't that look good for a long time? And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hole. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Well played, mate. Here we are, Rich. A wonderful opportunity on the table. The chance to go back to back. Just how big would that be? Obviously massive, but I'm very impressed. They've put themselves in a position to win for the second week in a row. Impressive. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that was bang on target. Oh, well done. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. And down it goes. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Sitting at minus three, tied for sixth position. Ooh. Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot from the bunker. And let's see what that super shot did to the leaderboard. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Let's head to this lengthy par four. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot here on the 11th. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Good sounding strike, that one. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. This one's for birdie. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. After that hole, this player is currently in first place, with Colin Morikawa close behind in second. And after a birdie at the last, they'll take the honour on the hole. was so close to going in. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. 15 feet to the cup. Little birdie look in here. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, 
Job done. Let's head to the next. And now over to Justin Rose. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Well, 13, that's unlucky for some, Rich. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Rich, when we talk about the English group of golfers over the last 20 years, really Justin Rose has been the, the star of them, hasn't he? Major champion, world number one, Hall of Famer. He's done it all. He certainly is that, and I have to say, he's probably one of the most resilient players you'll ever come across. As soon as he got done holding out that shot at the major championship years ago, turned professional, and went out and missed 20 some odd cuts in a row and never gave up, kept after it, kept after it, which that would have broken. That would have broken most men, not Rose. That's why he's gone out and become a major champion. He is such a force in the game. There's no reason why he cannot play at a high level for many, many years to come. The ball striking is phenomenal. I love his stroke. I love the way that he puts it. I just think that he hits so many good putts that just don't go in. It just kind of gets under his skin. Listen, don't let it, Rosie. You putt it fantastically. Keep after it. I love this man's game. He's such a talent. Good putt, that. Now seven strokes up after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. That is absolutely spot on. Playing from around 230 yards. Well, they look like they're taking this on in two. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Ooh, it'd be nice to make this putt. This is for Regal. Oh, well played. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our current leader is enjoying an eight stroke advantage. I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole. Going with the seven. <laughs> Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. He sits in first position. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish.
Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Oh, that was pure. This one from about 160 yards out. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Oh, standing ovation after that shot. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. That will work on a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? We have a short par four ahead of us here. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. play leading with intent absolutely sets himself up for an eagle on this hole just didn't drop terrific shot almost an eagle always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie and now over to Justin Rose. Birdied their last hole. Hmph. Ha, oh, right at it from out of the bunker. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a 10 shot lead. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last, good luck. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. Oh, what a way to finish the day. Hoping he can close out. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh my, right by the hole. Outstanding shot, high quality. It's just about three feet away. And what a way to win it. Lovely putt. What an incredible week. This player was spot on all week long. What a finish, great win. Sometimes you've just got to stand and applaud. That was a performance for the ages. It's just one of these wins where you just want to sit back and just soak it all in and enjoy it. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Kuyak, John McCarthy, I'm Luke Elvey saying so long from 2K Sports.